Hi. Okay. We are live, guys. We are doing a skincare with Shawnee, a teen tween facial. Is this the best? Maybe I'll do it here. Sorry, I a little slow in getting it together. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to get Shawnee to join. You know, me and technology on her. Damn it. What the heck? Well, I keep doing it and it keeps popping off. Okay, so, Honor, I need your help. Hold this. I feel like every live is gonna have technical difficulty time. Because that's just what's going on. I mean, I'm sure that people don't wanna look at the, you can just say hi. Hi. Okay. Thanks, boo. We have our towels and everything. So we are doing today. Do you want to tell them on her what we're doing today? Um, um, we are doing a skincare thing, a skincare routine thingy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it helps my skin. So yeah. With Shawnee. And how long have you known Shawnee? Um, Hi. Hi. Are you getting, I, uh, yeah, I was sort of surprised by this because I somebody call me. I just want to be glowing like you, so I have to, I want to test my lighting, please. <laughs> Where's Keith? Where's Phoenix? Oh, Phoenix! Oh, she has like this glow thing that she does. That's... Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, it's the Where's purple. It's the purple one with the little. That one. Mm -hmm. It's subtle. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. We're all together. I don't We're know. all together. We're together and apart. I feel like you're too high, Anna. Oh, no. Are there That's, issues? She grew up a little bit? And no, I'm sitting on a chair. She's sitting on a chair, but look. Is it okay? She, she can just here. Take yeah, she's fine. She can do it. She can look fine. So yeah. we are going to do, Jess and I and our very large kids that used to be babies, <laughs> um, we are going to talk about, um, we're going to talk skin. about tween skin. skin, tween skin, is that what we're saying? It's and we are going to do like, we're going to do, we're going to do a, a facial for them and we're going to go through products. Um, I have all the honest products here. I've used, um, Phoenix, that's what she started using before I had my own products come out. So we're just going to go through them. I say we are going to use all of yours because we love the detox mask. We've been nice. using that for a while. So, um, yeah. And, um, because of hormones and being a, a tween, um, sometimes the skin can get a little congested. So we have these like kits, these little honest kits that are super easy. They're like, and they're cute sizes. It's like two weeks. Why don't you show us what's in that kit? We'd like to go through the kit. So what I love about this kit is um, I was really looking for a something that could address acne prone skin that wasn't that didn't have any harsh chemicals. And so that is what's in this kit. And I will show you. I don't even want to open it. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, I have this in my room. So it's a, a gel cleanser that has sal acid. Yeah. Sal acid we source is from a, a natural source. 
Um, it's, um, it's not synthetic. It's a, and so salicylic acid's really great. Um, this is a 0.5. This is really great for acne. It will help to dissolve any oil in the pores. So this is great if you can use, if, you're, if your kid is starting to break out or getting oily, this is a perfect way to treat it. Okay, tell us what else is in the kit. This um, clearing night serum with honestly pure retinol. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this has a, um, it's basically a retinol that we formulated in house and it's encapsulated with tapioca instead of petroleum. So a lot of retinols are encapsulated with petroleum and we don't wanna use any of those types of chemicals. So it's encapsulated with tapioca and it releases slowly um, while your babe is sleeping. So that's a night treatment. Okay. And then during the day, they, we have the soothing daily moisturizer, but I also like the hydrogel. So Honor prefers this one. I like what this one. This is what Phoenix would use too. I love this one. And this um, is an oil free. I use that one. Yeah, this is oil free. Both of them are oil free. Yeah. Okay. Well, so here we go. So one of the biggest things is obviously you want to start getting your kid on uh, your child on a good skincare, skincare routine early. Um, it's I don't even know when did you guys first start. Like Phoenix has been washing your face for a while, I feel like. Lennon is, it's up and down with her, but Phoenix, I feel like you've been doing it for a while now. And now she's very on it only because sometimes she breaks out a little bit. So yeah, she doesn't want that. Thing. Right. So yeah, once, yours went away. once kids start breaking out, then they freak out. But the biggest thing is you want to start them before they start breaking out because What's worse than breaking out is acne scars. And sometimes well, you can't yeah. actually get rid of those. So you want to help your kids learn how to, to take care of their skin take early. Care of the skin. Right. So and it girls, also has to do a little bit with the diet. And yeah. so reducing dairy sugar. and refined sugars, mm -hmm. which is really hard because it's so good tasting. The dairy is a big one, but I feel like at least for us, it's something we just, our kids, just don't have as much of like yeah but they you know they still get yeah i know they, but it's, it's i mean true. yeah we're better we try we try we try so um, we are going to start um we're going to do a little facial and we are going to start I, how about we start with a little um we to wash their face right cloth, just to um open the pores a little bit okay i got that so um, Shawnee, I think maybe you just talk us through the yeah. facial and we'll just do what you say. I love, I love that. Because you love bossing me around anyway. Yeah. I mean, this is our life that we're like together. It's like we're all together again. Not, not on like a beach, but we're together. There you go. I think a lot of people right now are looking for self-care and things to do with their kids and also on themselves, especially if they're acne prone. So it's nice that you're um, able to give the world facials, Sean. Yeah, I think it's so important. I also think this is such a good time, right? Like we have the time, there's no excuses. We do have the time. And, yeah. you know, make the most of a situation none of us can control. I know. So once we've done a little warm water, we are going to do, um, we are going to use the salicylic cleanser, which this is going to, this is going to help um, with the oil, over oil, over oil, what do I want to say? Over production of oil. Um, it will help to reduce that. Um, this won't strip your skin, very gentle. You don't want to overdo it with um, any cleanser, especially not for your child because a lot of times they tend to go on the dry side even though they're breaking out so so we're gonna get that all over come on up here i want to see you cleanse oh i'm gonna do it for honor <laughs> yeah i like that i think that's i think that's nice I think that's because perfect. otherwise the water will be all over my sink oh my god is that something that goes on there we have arguments we talk yeah. about being so that's why i'm gonna do it <laughs> We talk about being grounded if it happens any again, but <laughs> weird. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm actually just happy when she washes her face. So yes. It's fine. All right. I think I need to 
By the way, I gave Honor a trim last night and it turned into a haircut and it turned into me layering her hair and it turned into me doing an emergency phone call to Jen Atkins. Did so you, did you pull for- It's a cut, so that happened. Wait, did you, did, it looks great. It's cute, right? I think I need to blend a little bit more in the back though. Oh God. Do you think maybe you should call Jen back up when you go with the blending? Maybe a Yeah, I'm gonna call her back up and I cut myself twice. Oh, and I gave Hayes a haircut too. Hayes looks adorable though. I don't know. I saw that, I saw that. We saw that he got that. He looks adorable. He's got Ooh, such curly so hair though. Like it. Did, huh? He's got such curly hair though that you wouldn't notice if you messed it up. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, Cash said I can't screw it up that much. Yeah, you can't. But you could screw up honors. It's really nice that she would allow you to do that. So did you guys... I mean, we're not going anywhere. And they'll only see the front of I mean, room. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, I think you did great. So you've already removed the cleanser? Because we're going to do no. a mask. No. We're, remo we're removing it now. Okay. We'll wait for you. Oh, God. It's hot. Now, the reason why I have a really warm towel on Honor's face is because Shawnee taught me that you always need to have your pores open even when you're doing a mask. So at home, whatever mask y'all are doing, make sure that you open the pores up before you use your mask. And masks for people who are more acne prone, um, a lot of people have the the charcoal or detox mask what what about that is good for acne prone skin well it helps to absorb oil and that's what we're going to get into next is we're going to use your detox mask which we've actually been using for a while and that has white bentonite clay and also activated charcoal so both so great for acne um, probably could even use this as a spot treatment as well. And it's also, what's great about it is that it won't over dry the skin. Yeah, it is nice because a lot of the, when we were developing this, my biggest thing with the team was to make sure that it didn't uh, over, over dry the skin. Yeah. Cause I felt like every time I did a charcoal mask, my face felt like it was the desert. And yes. I just didn't this want is that. Pretty, I, I can use this on lemon. Yeah, it's so nice. I'm pull back your hair, honey. It's time. <laughs> so if you use this, if you can get your child to use this even once a week, it will make such a difference. Yeah, it's nice. And if you do it together, I mean, Shawnee, you look so profesh with your brush and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you do it together, then it out. makes skincare more fun with your kid and you get to like my mom to be honest with you it's how my mom and i bonded oh that's right your mom is, is an esthetician yeah but she was like going to beauty school when i was a kid so i was basically her barbie head and she permed my hair every kind of perm she dyed my hair mind you i was seven um she did wow, everything to me. Sounds like somebody I know a little that bit. Sounds so fun. <laughs> it sounds just like Jessica. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if she noticed. <laughs> no, we are. We're the same. I mean, that one doesn't fall apart. She from was the like, tree. "Yeah, she used to force me to color my hair." You mm -hmm. And can I put your hair up like this? I can do it. Okay, you just don't like. It. So we're gonna leave this on ten, for ten minutes. Um. For your so, summer, and what mask are magic you using? Bomb. Are you using the detox mask too? Yeah. Yes, it's oh, it, looks, it looks like a different color. Um, okay. And listen, a lot of kids struggle with breakouts um, at this age. However, there's also, you have another mask that's more for drier skin types that has shea butter and um, it has oh, shea yeah, butter in it. Oh yeah, and perfect mask. So, I actually, go ahead. Yeah, what's nice about that mask is that one you can really, I mean, I use it daily. And I, I like to put that on my face in the morning right when I wake up. And it's just a nice way to start the day. That's this mask. This is a great mask. I actually use this um, quite a bit at the studio. I um, It's great. I actually sometimes even mix it with some other things, but it's a great mask. Yeah, you've used it on me quite a few times. Yeah, it's really nice. So, um. And Shawnee. Yeah. 
what are the like i wanted some dirt like what is the worst thing you've seen a teen do or tween do you know what skin? i so i used to work when i first started i used to work for a dermatologist and it wasn't so much like the worst things that i would that a teen had done but one of the saddest things it actually used to make me cry i used to work on tons of kids um you know like 11 and up maybe even some younger and some of them would come in and be so broken out i remember this one girl had come in and it was her senior year and she had such bad acne and it had been going on for years and um i don't know if it was whether or not they didn't have the money or didn't know what to do but by the time that she was getting it treated with the doctor that i was working for um I knew at that point that she was going to have scars forever. And unless you and did I, like a laser or something. Yeah, and I think it's it's a sad thing because it doesn't need to get to that point. Yeah. And you have to realize with your children that you have to you have to get them on a routine so they understand because scarring, you think about all, you know, adults that we know that have permanent scarring in the yeah. pit scarring. And you can't completely get rid of that. You you really no. can't. You can laser away and you can help it. You can decrease it, but it's not going to completely go away if you have hidden scars. And I know some people will tell you otherwise, but it's not. And so we've, we've got to get them on a good routine in the beginning, having them wear sunscreen um, so that doesn't happen. And that's, that's really important to me because I also think like there were times where I struggled with it. And it's there. It's so depressing. It's yeah, it's, it is. It's like I, the, my whole life as an actress, a young actress, I had really bad skin. But then I found out it was because of all of the products that they were using. Yeah. That, uh, I and I just it, that's stuff. the hardest time because you're already so confused. Like, yeah, I mean, not that I, it wouldn't be bad. You're finding now. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So if people don't have money, and a lot of people right now, you know, because of COVID and everything that's going on, you know, they're losing their jobs. One in 10 people have applied for um, um, unemployment. Uh, unemployment. And it's like a totally different reality than any other time that we've lived through. So if you don't have money and you are just doing what you can to get by, how, like, what advice would you give people? If they don't I, live in a big city, um, but they still want to get ahead of their skincare and their skincare routine. I would say just even any basics you can get, because if you can get, there's so many, like just a gentle cleanser. Like, so wash if, your face every day. Yeah. You want to wash morning and night. If you're at least okay. doing that. Listen, so even like if you're you at brush least. Brush your teeth. Right. If, if you can at least wash your face and you could only wear sunscreen, I, great you know what i mean i mean right now i know we're not out in the sun so even but a lot of people break out with sunscreen so right, but even at cleanser, night what do you think even a or moisturizer it, inside it, all day i think you can find a lot of things that are really inexpensive right now if you can't i mean for some people they can't and i get that but i'm saying there are there are things that are really expensive and it's just as long as you're at least doing the minimum, but you have to do it. You have to wash your face. If that's all you were doing, wash so, your face. So at the very least, no matter what, when you, when you brush your teeth, wash, wash your, face. your face. Yeah. Wash your face morning and night. And um, there are some at-home facials that you can do and things that you can do. We did a facial last yeah. week. And, there are. That's right. And, and, and the, last week. I have uh, one of the ingredients, yogurt. I yep. did a yogurt and honey mask. And Which I is exfoliated hydrating. by adding some uh, really oh, yeah. super fine salt in my scrub. And I scrub my face. Um, and, then I, uh, and then I had some um, yogurt and some honey and some oatmeal. And, uh, and that actually helps with your pigmentation, your pores and all of that. So if you can't afford to get certain skincare products, you know, we at Honest, I always really strive to make our products as affordable as possible. But the reality is, is it is luxury um, for a lot of people. Yeah. So if you want to take just things from your pantry, Shawnee, what is the 
face uh, the mask that you use. I, thought, I think egg white for acne is really good if you only had that. I mix mine with honey, which is antibacterial, um, and Greek yogurt. But if you only had egg white, that's that, good enough. That's so great for acne, for sure. So that's awesome. So like, if someone is struggling to get by and they just have what's in their pantry, you're like, wash your face twice a day and do an egg white on your face and let it yeah. sit for 10 minutes. Um, another mask if you uh, want to tackle um, congested skin is the Greek honey, sorry, the Greek yogurt honey um, and oatmeal. And it does very similar things because of the lactic acid yeah. in the yogurt, yogurt. actually um, helps uh, almost resurface in a way, yeah. right? It's fully the dead skin on the surface, yeah. Yeah, and that's then, great. For moisture, I think the biggest thing is to stay away things that, from things that have um, fragrance mm -hmm. and anything that has petroleum, if you can. Yeah. Those yeah, are kind I of think the two things. I think it's those, whatever you can do, but I do, I do think number one is to make sure you're washing your face. Yeah, I agree. That was like, that's a game changer. So a yeah. lot of people are asking what kind of mask that we're using. We're using the three in one detox. detox. It is a hot item. Um, we sell out all the time um, on honest.com. We're at Amazon, we're at Target, and um, and it really does uh, work really well. And, um, and it's great for, it's safe for Honor, who's 11, and I use it as well, uh, especially that one week a month that I'm a little more hormonal. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's actually for all skin types. However, it's great for acne. Um, it has the activated charcoal and the bentonite clay. So it, it is, but however, like I can, I typically don't break out and I, I use this with my kids. It's great. It kind of detoxifies the skin. So it's pretty amazing. So people are asking what kind of um, cleanser. I actually like to use this cleanser. It's a gentle gel cleanser. Um, Honor, her favorite cleanser is the clearing cleanser. It has some sal acid in it. Um, and Shawnee, what kind of cleansers do you guys use at home? Well, I use, typically Phoenix will use this, which is my cleansing serum. However, I love a salicylic cleanser, and so I, this is the first time that we got this one, so she'll probably end up using this a lot because Phoenix has a whole routine she does at night, but if she's not breaking out, she won't do the routine. Thanks. So just, you're right, which is doesn't make any sense. No, you're like, you got to get ahead of it. So I, I think if that's the case now, I'll have her use the salicylic cleanser because then I don't have to worry as much because I'm always like, the point is to prevent the breakouts from happening because what she does is not, she gets lazy, doesn't do anything. And then, um, then talks to me about the pimple that's on her face that won't go away. And I'm like, we're trying to prevent that though. That's why you, right? Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> So um, salicylic, that's a, that's a really good point. So if you're using just, if you don't want your, if your child isn't going to do a bunch of steps, a great salicylic cleanser like this, and then a moisturizer at night, and you're good to go. Two yeah. steps. And what's nice about it is it's derived from winter green. So it is a natural source of cell acid. You don't have to worry that there are any harsher, um, potentially harmful chemicals in right. any honest product. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's leave this on for a few more minutes. Oh, and the hydrating mist. We're gonna talk what was about the most embarrassing thing that happened to you when you were 11, Shawnee? Because our girls are 11. I actually have a very great story for you kids. Um, it has nothing to do, do you with- want to know on her? Yes. has nothing to do with skin, exactly, but I haven't told this story much, but I'm going to talk about it. OK. So I. Um, I lived in a place where there were not a lot of African-American um, people where I grew up, which was a very, very small town of not many. And um, I really wanted a relaxer for my hair. I really wanted to look like Whitney Houston. And so my mom worked very hard to find someone that could do it. And she just wrote, just tell the audience you're mixed. Yes, yes. Your mom's white. Yes, and half black. Biological father's black. Yes. So my mom was, you know, she and looked you're at in me a, with, this is population of five, 
I don't, I don't <laughs> actually know. But there, was, like there wasn't a lot of people to help me. And so my mom found this woman and I was so excited. I went in, I got the relaxer put in, I came out and I was like, it was insane. I was doing all the moves. Like, it was awesome. So I showed all my friends, went home that day. And one of my good friends, I'm not going to say her name because she gets up. I think she gets upset at this story. She slept over. We had a sleepover that night. And I woke up to her hysterically crying. She was laughing so hard. And I woke up and I was like, what's so funny? My hair had burnt out and I was bald all here. There was no hair. There was just one little curl. And I wouldn't cut the curl off. So, and by the way, I, I wish I had pictures. I am gonna find the pictures because you will die. I wore my hair and the one curl, I would curl it with a curling iron and this was all bald for months. Cause I wouldn't let it go. <laughs> that makes me so sad. I know, and we couldn't do it. What are you gonna do? I know. But it, it grew back. It did. And I think also at that point, my parents just were like, they gave up and they were like, they called someone in uh, in Albany and they were like, do you know about weaves? They were like, and it was over. And that here, we, that's my life. But that was my most traumatic. But when I show you guys the pictures, when I finally get this, you're going to die because I'm not lying. I left the one curl. You're I, just wanna I just want to see. I just want to I've been see. asking my mom forever. I'm like, mom. Find the picture. Oh. She's like, Shani, they're in the garage. I can't find them. You're going to die. No one's going to believe that I just had the curl. And every day I would take my curling iron and I would curl the one curl. That makes me so sad. Talk about traumatized. Okay. <laughs> and me. you, and by the way, when you look at Phoenix, you're like, that is me. You, yeah. Like you, you and Phoenix are twins. Yeah, but thank God we're in a different place and a different time. But you look totally, but you guys look exactly alike. Like, you look at her and you're like, that's what well, I looked like. It's I weird, feel like right? you look the same too, guys. Mm, she looks like Cash. She does, she, I know. She's Cash's just... clone. She's Cash's clone. I you literally know who gave does Cash. look so much like you is Haven. Haven looks exactly it's like It's so you. weird. It's just the orange. The orange I know, it's so orange. strange. It, that is true. And the more she gets older, it's like, wow, she really is. Because when I, I was confused in the little, beginning. Yeah, when I would look at her baby face, I would felt I felt like I was looking at my brother. Yeah, I didn't have that. I, I was alike. confused. I was like, hmm. And then <laughs> now I'm like, oh, there we go. Yeah. Because with Lennon, I'm still confused. No, I, come on, Lennon and Tony. Just adorable, but I'm just saying I don't see it. I need I. Don't, Lennon and Tony, though, look exactly alike. Do you think they look exactly alike? Yes. Um, I don't even think Leah looked alike, so <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's Whoa. shade. That's some shade. Whoa. I wonder where she gets that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're so proud. <laughs> so rude. She's like exactly alike. And you alike. guys have the same body, too. She has your cute legs and everything. It's so sweet. Um, I'm going to start heating up my towel only because she's getting Thanks. very tight here. Okay. Same. I want to hear about your most embarrassing story, though. I have so many embarrassing stories. Mm. Like, all, I, all I have to say is, girls, and not to get you guys scared about having your period or anything, but I had my period while I was doing a TV show. So, A, I was uncomfortable in my own skin. I was really young. I was 12, 13. I had to wear a bikini, a bathing suit. I oh, wasn't wow. even comfortable with That's boobs. Like I had new boobs, period, tampon string. The whole thing in a bathing suit. And it for sure showed. And the whole camera crew and everyone saw it. And... That might be worse than my curl. It happened a few times. I did a TV show called Flipper. Is oh. wondering? I had no friends. I was really awkward. And look at you it now, was all honey. captured on camera. So that was cool. And anyway, look at you now. Speaking of which, Phoenix, you know what we're going to do? We're going to watch Flipper. We've got a little time. No, let's get. Do, no, you we know what? You'll want. always remember that in pretty much every scene I had my period when I was in. When I was in a bathing suit. It's just like a thing that boys never have to deal with. 
I know, it's not fair. It's just something we have to deal with. And no one warns you, no one tells you. I was just happy to have a job, to be honest. And I know it's not a very relatable story, but I've been working since I was 12. So I'm sorry, guys. And I love, listen, I love all it. Of my, I got bullied in school. I went to 11 different schools. I didn't have friends in school. I stopped going to school when I was 11. And that's probably why I chose to be an actress. And I talked to Honor a lot about being nice to people and not being a bully and sticking up for people when she sees Very people important. being bully. And she Very does. important. You do, right, Honor? Even people she doesn't like who aren't very nice, if she sees someone being bullied, she will still stick up for them. Right, Honor? Very important, and I like that. Because it's super important. Look at how that. good that looks. Hey, um, Honor's going to middle school next year. I know, it's so crazy. Get it That's right scary. Are you guys going to change schools or are going to be in your school for one more year? She's got one more year because Honor's going into six. Oh, yeah. And Phoenix is seventh going grade. Honestly, seventh, seventh. and Phoenix is going into and yes, it is crazy. Um and yes, it's crazy. And it's I'm, weird I, that we were pregnant. I know. And now we have like She just said that before we got on. She was like asking about how old Hayes was and she was like, It's so weird we were on vacation and she was pregnant. Cause remember when we um she couldn't you couldn't get on the boat because you were so um Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. We were um, we were uh, in Hawaii together, and I was so sick with Hayes, and I thought I had problems, and I went to the hospital, and I got him checked up. Yeah, and I had to go on the boat with the husband, saying, <laughs> "Wait, gosh. we can't I tell that to... we can't tell that story, kids." But what you won't we'll... tell the story about we can't tell the story. But oh usually, gosh. so when Jessica and I go on no, vacation, no, 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 no. we can't tell the story. Yeah, yeah, people come from. But yeah. we, so basically, when we go on vacation, Jessica is usually the one that decides. Like, this is what we're doing, and she makes sure everybody has their water. And who needs it? Do we have band aids? Oh Are we ready? So we're we're going on a boat ride, and Jessica gets sick, and I have to go with Cash, and her husband, and my husband, and the kids. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'm not a delegator in that way. I'm not. A, I don't plan trip stuff. That's not me. I. I I delegate another way. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So that's all I'll say. <laughs> you don't remember what happened? No. Yeah, because you were exactly because you were sleeping. <laughs> oh, that <yeah>. air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I have a question for you. Actually, I want to talk only because you brought it up in your kit. And I have a feeling people have probably asked or will ask. So it's good for us to talk about this. You have this treatment, which is an acne treatment, which is in the kit. Is this something that you have on or use? Yes. Okay. Be I only ask because it's salicylic acid and it also has a retinol. And I want you to explain why this retinol, by the way, retinol can be used on children, period. But... I always say you want to go the cleanest version you can. Um, yeah. And so, and when I say children, it, that's a whole nother discussion, but I want to talk about. Um, yeah, I mean, honor is the size and weight of a grown woman. Right. So and also, it's not like she's a 50 pound, you know, wafy, because it's different depending on your weight and your body on how your body metabolizes things. And Honor is the size of, she wears women's clothes. She's the size of a woman. So right. I would not put this on Haven. Right. Of course not. Same. So, and she's almost 12. And this is a, uh, a product that I'm fine with Honor using. And we also have this product that she used last night because this one is intense. So when you are a more acne prone person, if you really do have a lot of those breakouts, this is awesome. But for every night, if you are more like honor where it's an occasional breakout, she'll use this. But for the daily, really, if she just used the, uh, the serum or the serum. Right here. Right there. Yeah. So we have, something called beauty sleep serum and it's basically like really gentle she can use it every night i can use it every night but... wait i know that one but is that out now yeah oh see that's what so, i was looking for that phoenix has used that before 
Yeah, I mean, it's it amazing. And, and just has, literally you can use that once a week or you can use it every day. And, and, and what it's is very that? gentle. Let me get it. You remember that it's an at home, it's a sleep serum that she has. Um, it's like, it like kind of smells like apples. Which one do you use typically on a regular base, basis? This, one. this is the one. This is what she uses on a regular basis. So this one, it has glycolic, lactic, citric, malic, tartaric, hyaluronic acid. So it gently resurfaces, but also hydrates your skin. It does both. And you don't put it around your eyes. You avoid your eye area. And literally, like, Honor uses this on the most regular basis. The, okay. This is more, the other one is more intense when she's having, like, a major, like, she forgot to wash her face for a month. And she is getting, like, this and right. this. Then yeah, she'll like have reactions. to do this. But if she just stays on top of it and does this every night, she's golden. Okay, we're, let's put that on yeah. then. And then, like, literally, Honor had, like, some blackheads here. Yeah. And used it, and the next morning, they were gone. Right. So, and it's super gentle, no rash, no nothing, doesn't dry. Um, and then we just put, like, a moisturizer uh, around the eyes before we put it yeah, on. Yeah, and I think that that's really important that you want to make sure your child is using especially if they're prone to breakouts. They need to use something daily if their skin can tolerate it because you want to prevent breakouts. So we're going to use that um, all over the skin right now. No, at night, Shawnee. Or we're, we're pretending it's night. I told you it's nighttime right now. Okay. Oh, that's... it's a nighttime routine? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, we're putting it on. And also, maybe we're suffering from some breakouts right now. We put it just on. Why don't you oh, yeah, just... and if you're going to be inside, you can. Yeah, we're not, just... yeah. not going anywhere today. So where? <laughs> here, I want you to put it here and all here. Oh, and then during the day, Honor likes to put this serum it's on. The oh, the vitamin C. Yeah, yeah. so Honor uses this one during the day and this one at night. Did she apply my moisturizer after the deal, the glycolic serum? I, I no no we put around the eyes. I put moisturizer. You put the on moisturizer the and then on the lips and then you put this the uh, this serum you put all over the face. I okay. so you can do it once a week. You can do it every night. You can do it every other night. Just depending. Okay. So, I'm here. Honor. Honor's going to show what she does. Okay. So for the day, Honor's doing. So she likes to do the serum. That's not what I do, or, or I usually take one pump. Because okay, sorry, very... one pump. Oh, and she's mixing. I didn't know she mixed. Yeah, leave her alone. It's her routine. Okay, this is Honor's routine. You mix it because you you just want to eliminate a step. And no, you, and... because then it's this one's not as thick, and this one prevents the pimples that we get, mm -hmm. and oh. it moisturizes more. You little she queen, you you know all about it. On it. And what is nice about the vitamin C is if you do have some scarring, it will lighten over time. And same with the Beauty Sleep Serum. If you use it regularly, your scars will lighten. Over. Right. Vitamin C is great. It helps protect you from environmental pollution. And also it will Has help antioxidants, to decrease, so. um, decrease any dark marks, acne scars. Really good to use that every day. Um, so... I, Phoenix. Tony, can we talk about blackheads yeah. in ear, in the earring hole? Like, how, why does that even happen? Ear? Yeah, inside. It's, an open, the... it's like an open area. You have to oh. clean it. Why do you get that all the time? You want to talk about it? Honor gets it. I get it sometimes. Honor gets it in her ear just, hole. It's like right. I know. Inside. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do too, but I just, I just always have to check it's them closed. and clean them. Oh, okay. My ears are not closed. What are you talking about? They are? Well, that's because you let it grow. Yeah, you just have to really clean. And you know where else you need to clean is inside your ears. And you know what's really important? Keep the inside of your ears cl clean because if you start to get blackheads in your ear, it's... Uh-oh. What happened to Shawnee? Out the area. 
And then even if you do have a problem, using a little bit of your lactic, that glycolic, what is it called, that serum? Beauty sleep. Yeah, if you just, a very thin, thin, thin layer. Oh, really? Here, and that, oh, yeah, because, because people get it. Oh people, it's, you don't want to oh. overdo it. Oh, no. I actually want to do, I did something a little backwards, and I want to tell everyone that. So typically, I wouldn't have put, um, it, we were going into nighttime, so we did a little bit of a spot treatment on Phoenix's nose. But after the mask, typically, I would go and use this Honest Hydrating Mist to, to give Phoenix a little hydration. And this is super, super calming. And so I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to use this. I use, it, I use it before, after, during. Always, I know. It's so good. And then after this, after it absorbs. Oh, okay. <coughs> wow, wow. You spray too much? <laughs> yeah, you spray too much too. Wow. <coughs> we're, we're, gonna to, we're gonna let that absorb a little bit. So um, and then one other before, I'm going to let this absorb before we're going to go into um, the hydrogel cream, which is what Phoenix would use because it's oil free and Phoenix definitely needs to use it. And it, it feels like water. Yeah, it feels it's great. Like, so I wake up and I slather this good. on my face and I love it so much because yeah. the water, you can feel the water breaking on your face. It's so, that's it such a great good. consistency. Yeah. It's so it feels really luxurious. Phoenix says it, it, it it's fun. That's what's going on with her right now. <laughs> it's fun. And then Honor, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the hydrogel under your eyes. Cause I think it's nice to have that little bit of extra under your eyes. I like eyes. that it's cooling. It's cooling, yeah. So seventh grade Shawnee, I know you're not a big makeup person. But that's when I started to wear makeup. No, I don't think I was a different human. We, I'm I gonna pull heard, out some pictures me, for you. I'm gonna pull out some pictures for you, and you're gonna die. I I should pull out pictures for you. I looked very similar. Yeah, but well, I'm not gonna wear like foundation. No, no, I didn't wear foundation. I wore. Let me tell you. I wore eyeliner. Yeah, that's it. And I may have worn the same eyeliner on my lips as I wore on my around my eyes. Black mm -hmm. lipstick? It was like brown. Oh. Oh, I, I had that. I did that. And then I did like a like a a, a, a light like a light pink on the inside. Sometimes frosty. Yeah, of course. And brown liner on the outside. Who wouldn't do that? But that was the look, you know? And I had very thin eyebrows. If you saw my look. Um, but Honor, Honor, what is your look going to be for middle school? What um, do you think? Well, um... Are you going to wear makeup? You don't have to. No. I mean, I'm not going to wear, like, crazy makeup, but I'm going to wear, like, lip gloss and, like, blush and stuff. I like, I like that vibe. That's what it's going to be. Some blush, some, like, cream blush. It's all about like a natural like, vibe, Honor. Gloss. And lip balm? Or lip balm and lip gloss, same thing. Like... The like this one? one? Yeah. You know, the, our, uh, our Honest Beauty lip balms got a uh, award. They're, I, I saw that. A glamour award, yeah. I'm yeah. not going to wear eyeliner because I don't want to do the most. No. I, I just don't know why you're wearing like, mascara in eighth grade, but not seventh. In seventh grade, you won't wear mascara, but in eighth clear grade? Clear mascara, probably. She, Honor said clear mascara. Oh, so, like, wow, that's cheap. That there's a serum that I use that makes my eyelashes look way longer. It's castor oil. It's amazing. She you guys are, we're, fro we're frozen over here. Oh, yeah, you are frozen. We can't fix it, though. Why? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know what I did, Sean? I, um, oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. I, um, I turned you know? off my Wi-Fi, and I turned on just my cell phone. Cellular data. Yeah, she's frozen. Hi, guys. Am I frozen, too? Hi from Kosovo. How are we doing? We're doing good. I have to say, um, it is nice um, that we do get to spend a lot of time with our kids. And, Honor, have you been, how have you been? 
Um, I actually don't think it's. I mean, I would really. Just... Obviously, we don't want people to be ill, and it is scary uh, thinking that that could possibly happen. Um, but we are, you know, we're really appreciative um, that everyone is healthy, and we are praying for everyone that isn't healthy, and we're working um, tirelessly, really. Um, trying to figure out how we can continue to help folks. Um, I'm grateful that with my business that uh, we're able to keep people employed and our business is an essentials business and we get to keep people provided with safe products. Um, <clears throat> everything that ranges from their baby products, their cleaning products, um, their skin care, um, ba bath and body products. So um, we are in business and honest, and then we're also giving back a lot. Sean is here. Um, hi, Sean. Okay. Go do the thing again. Request. Do the request again. Okay. And so with Cash, he uh, his business, Pair of Thieves, uh, oh, he has – he makes – you know, essential items, but well, we were just talking about sort of the times right now and how we're doing. And um, Cash is also with his company. They are donating hundreds of thousands of uh, N95 masks. Um, that's they're amazing. taking the revenue for really the past month um, and applying it all to buying uh, the masks and distributing them to people in the front lines and healthcare. Um, grocery stores, you know, people who are really keeping us um, well and fed. So I think there's definitely the healthcare workers are on the front lines, but also people working in agriculture and people at the grocery stores um, and people working in, um, in food altogether and all of the delivery services, yeah. sanitation, I mean, there's really um, a lot of folks who are working day in and day out, and um, and we are just trying our hardest to make sure that um, we do everything we can to stay home so that they are safe, um, and we're very grateful as well for all the work that they're doing. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So I think this time has yes. um, we prioritized um, what we all do. And, um, and our friendships, and I think for me, it's made me sort of value time in a different way. That is so true, beyond. Yeah, and some of the mental health people. counselors, yes, mental health counselors, um, big ups to you guys. Um, I had a, a FaceTime therapy session with my therapist, very grateful for her. And, um, and there's a lot of people who are feeling really alone right now and scared. And, um, and I think, thank you so much to all the mental health care, uh, people in mental health that are working um, as well uh, around the clock to make sure that everyone that they work with are feeling um, as good as they can given the, cir the circumstances. Yeah, it's very true. Someone said they just got their Shawnee Darden products yesterday. Oh my God, it's so nice. Yeah. Um, well, I love everyone. I just wanted to say a few things. We showed you all um, a lot of great products to use for <laughs> teenagers, and I hope that that helped. And um, definitely, you know, comment so we can show you i think the next one we're going to do is pregnancy skin but we'd love any suggestions and what else i also wanted to say one more thing i meant to say this as a great tip and i think i did say it but tell us again sean i want everyone to know with this three-in-one detox mask that you can use this overnight so for phoenix she tends to break out on her nose and she gets blackheads she can use a very thin layer and she sleeps with it on and washes it in the morning. That really makes a difference. So just want you to know about this. It's a little trick for you. 
Someone, someone asked if we hijacked the kids. I just don't think they're as talkative as we are. No, they're, they're not. <laughs> they're like embarrassed by us. We're going to put them on the live, the two of them, and just let them go, and we won't yeah. even, we'll see what happens. Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you okay, so I much. Love so, you. See you guys next week. I love you. And next week, again, we're doing pregnancy skin. Yes. Um, someone's asking recommendations for teen boys. Same thing same. as teen girls. Same, same thing. Wash your damn face. Yeah, start with Wash a good sal the salicylic cleanser. Start with that. Yep. All right, okay, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.